The uh, objective of peer review is to choose uh, what papers represent genuine advances uh, in the state of the art uh, in a certain scientific field. Uh, if we take cryptography, for example, uh, there is a body of literature that or is already existing, and the peer review process tries to evaluate whether a certain contribution uh, is a substantial step forward given that uh, existing uh, body of scientific work in cryptography that uh, is already being documented. Um, so it is really the um, core process that uh, uh, scientific cryptography uses to advance forward. Um, so there are several dimensions that uh, make this process um, uh, what it is. The most important, as it is manifested uh, by the um, conferences uh, of the International Association for Cryptologic Research, Crypto EuroCrypt and AsiaCrypt uh, being the so-called flagship conferences, is that it follows a double-blind uh, reviewing process. So what does double-blind mean? Basically, uh, if you want to submit something to the conference, you have to produce a detailed manuscript uh, that has to be complete uh, in a number of ways. It has to have full substantiation of all the claims, complete proofs, uh, theorems and lemmas that are necessary uh, to support those claims, um, and a complete description of all uh, the necessary material that is needed to test the veracity of all the claims. Um, and then you package that uh, in a document which is submitted without any indication of what are the authors behind the manuscript. Now this is submitted to a committee of experts which is selected by the community um, and uh, every year it's a different set of experts for each conference. Uh, the experts may range in numbers from 40 to 50 um, and they're selected by a team of two program chairs which are appointed by uh, the directors, the board of directors of the IACR. Um, the experts that are selected to review a particular manuscript which is for submission, they also are anonymous to the authors. So when finally the decision uh, regarding a particular manuscript is furnished, um, the names of the experts are uh, not revealed. So this uh, double blinding is, is what typifies this process. The purpose of this double blinding is to ensure that there is as little bias as possible. The important thing here is to keep in mind that the process tries to as neutrally as possible decide whether a certain paper is a substantial advancement forward and this has to be done on first principles only. In other words, biases that have to do, for instance, with marketing, with the fame of the authors, with personal uh, connections potentially between those that are reviewing uh, and, and those that are producing those manuscripts, all that have to be removed from the process as much as possible. And this is what is achieved uh, by this double-blinding uh, reviewing process. So participating in peer review process can uh, happen in two ways. So one is by uh, submitting a manuscript for uh, peer review. Uh, so this is done by uh, finding a conference or a journal uh, that solicits papers. And, and these uh, are solicitations for papers called call for papers uh, that are available online. Um, in, in these call for papers, uh, there is a description of uh, what the particular conference is uh, looking for and uh, also what are the uh, group of experts that will be evaluating the submitted work, as well as what are the uh, specifics of uh, typesetting that the manuscript submitted should satisfy uh, in order to be evaluated. And this is an open process, so anybody can submit a manuscript for peer review. On the other hand, uh, 
participating as an expert is something that is done by invitation only. Uh, and this only comes after a um, many year commitment to advancing the uh, scientific uh, research in a particular area. So for example in cryptography, uh, the uh, people that participate as uh, program committee members are people that have done research in the universities and research centers for many, many years, have taught cryptography courses, um, have produced uh, a lot of important results in the area that have been recognized by their peers. Uh, and then uh, after this type of commitment to uh, the scientific area of cryptography, uh, an invitation uh, is uh, typically comes uh, for participation um, in a program committee of such a conference. And this uh, event actually is a distinction uh, and it's something that people are proud of, uh, certainly, uh, uh, to serve as members uh, in a program committee of a conference like Crypto, EuroCrypt or AsiaCrypt. Peer review um, is important for cryptocurrencies because it enables the area to mature and lay solid foundations upon which uh, protocols that are implemented uh, and carry um, value for their users uh, can actually be trusted to do so. Um, there is very important to produce systems that are robust and resilient to faults um, and just the fact that the system uh, a certain system is is working at the present time is not necessarily a proof that it will continue to do so uh, in, in the long run it is very important to have proper assurances uh, as those that are provided by scientific cryptographic work uh, that these systems are resilient to attacks. For this reason, it is important to build models within which we can analyze the security of uh, cryptocurrencies and distributed ledgers and have proofs that they operate within the proper bounds for safe uh, and fault resilient operation. So using uh, these tools that are provided by uh, this scientific process, we can be certain that the systems will not be attacked and the assets that they record, uh, they are not going to be at risk.